Pigeon enthusiasts worldwide are familiar with paramyxivirus, also known as PMV. This viral ailment should not be mistaken for paratyphoid, a bacterial disease caused by Salmonella typhimurium. PMV stems from one of the serotypes of PMV1 viruses, which are closely related to the PMV1 virus responsible for Newcastle disease. I will emphasize this again when discussing vaccination. PMV originated in the late 1970s in the Middle East and has since been found wherever pigeons are raised. The virus is not highly resilient and quickly perishes in the environment. Once a bird becomes infected, it will shed the virus in its droppings and other secretions for approximately three weeks. However, the duration between exposure and the emergence of clinical signs can vary significantly, ranging from a few days to several weeks. This poses a significant challenge in one loft race, OLR, lofts, as infected young birds, UBs, can be shipped and shed the virus without showing any clinical signs. By the time you realize there's a problem, the entire loft may have been exposed. Clinical signs primarily affect two organ systems, the kidneys and the nervous system. This virus invariably triggers inflammation of the kidney, known as interstitial nephritis. Consequently, the white part of the droppings turns watery, and you may often find small puddles of water on the perches. Within these puddles, you'll discover normal fecal material resembling green or brown worms. This isn't true diarrhea since the fecal material from the intestines remains normal. Since the kidney changes are consistent among the flock of infected pigeons, the kidney is the preferred organ for diagnosis through laboratory examination. Microscopic observations of kidney changes, coupled with clinical signs, provide a fairly accurate diagnosis. These watery droppings may persist for two to three months in a team of pigeons following an infection. The second affected organ system is the nervous system. The main signs observed are nerve paralysis, resulting in lameness or dropped wings, and torticollis, twisted necks. Initially, when this disease emerged, neurological signs were highly prevalent. However, recently these symptoms have only been observed in 10-20% to of affected birds, at most. Most pigeons exhibiting neurological signs will recover if they can eat and drink. Hence, if you have neglected vaccination and your loft becomes infected, there is no need to euthanize healthy pigeons. Ensuring they have access to food and water will allow the vast majority of them to return to normal and even participate in races. Vaccination against this disease is crucial because there are only two types of unvaccinated pigeons, those that have the disease and those that will eventually contract it. You may have been fortunate so far, but your luck won't last forever. By far, the only proven vaccination method is the injectable pigeon PMV vaccine. One such vaccine is produced by Maine Biological Labs in the United States, and several others are available in Europe. Unfortunately, there has been considerable discussion about the use of the chicken law soda vaccine, which is available in the United States and Canada. It is important to note that this vaccine is not designed for pigeons but rather for inoculating chickens against Newcastle disease, as mentioned earlier. It has been suggested to be administered through eye or nasal drops or added to the drinking water. While this vaccine will not harm your birds, every study conducted has shown it to be ineffective. Personally, I have encountered several lofts in the United States that sent in PMV-infected birds vaccinated with the La Soda vaccine, yet the disease persisted. On the other hand, the injectable vaccine has been criticized by some excellent flyers for potentially impacting performance. In my experience with the injectable vaccine in my loft and numerous other all-American lofts, it does not hinder performance. In summary, if you use the La Soda vaccine or similar types and your birds fall ill, it is your responsibility as you have been duly warned. To be fair to the La Soda vaccine, many flyers use it as an immune stimulant in the water before important races, yielding excellent results. I, personally, do not have experience in that area as I have never used it. Treatment for PMV is purely symptomatic. There are no medications that can eradicate the virus from the pigeon without harming the bird. The following steps should be taken. Ensure that infected birds have access to food and water. Rule out the presence of other diseases such as coccidiosis, worms, or canker. If secondary infections like E. coli occur, consult a veterinarian and administer appropriate antibiotics based on culture results. In conclusion, what does a pigeon enthusiast need to know about PMV? PMV is widespread, and vaccination using the injectable vaccine is crucial. The primary symptoms include watery droppings and neurological signs. Infected birds typically recover with supportive care. There are many reasons to buy my racing pigeon method. Here are some of the best reasons. You will get excellent results, it's a very simple system to use, it's affordable, I have had over 400 first prize winners, it's adaptable to any situation. You can use it with any racing method, natural, widowhood, young birds, it's a very effective method. 
There is no need to spend a lot of money on fancy pigeon products, it's a reliable system and it is foolproof to use. Professional athletes, race horses, take the same products, there is science behind this not just hearsay, it is all to do with red blood cells and oxygen in the blood, without that a pigeon will not race well, or an athlete will not win a race, if he has low oxygen in his blood, the above is fact and is 100% science. There are a few things you can do to improve your chances of winning at racing pigeons. One of the most important things is to learn as much as you can about the sport. You'll need to know the different types of pigeons, how to train them, and how to race them. Another key factor is practice. You'll need to be able to fly your pigeons competently in order to win races. And, of course, you'll need to have the funds to invest in racing pigeons and other racing equipment. 